The Tucson Border Patrol sector has been seeing a significant increase in migrants over the past few months mixed with scorching temperatures. It can make for extremely dangerous conditions. So how is CBP handling the influx at their Ajo location? I spoke with CBP and a group of volunteers from a humanitarian group to see what they are witnessing firsthand. I think we, we see a lot of makeshift and temporary facilities that are popping up along the border because we're not really calculating for the number of people and also the needs of the people. CBP and a humanitarian group are setting up tents for shade and water stations near Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument as Ajo CBP station works to process a huge spike in migrants. So the Ajo substation for U.S. Border Patrol was never designed to you know, process uh, as many uh, individuals as what we're seeing. And so it was kind of a recipe for uh, really bad things to happen. The remote station has limited capacity when it comes to holding migrants indoors, which can result in leaving them vulnerable to the dangerous heat. CBB tells me no migrants have died of heat-related illness in their care since the beginning of this heat wave. They do say migrants are still waiting a long time, sometimes in the heat, before they get processed. In a statement, a CBP spokesperson says in part, CBP efforts to address the large number of migrants crossing into the dangerous, desolate area near Ajo, Arizona, have significantly reduced time in custody to an average of 15 hours. With long wait times, humanitarian groups like the Border Action Network have already dispatched volunteers to help. We immediately uh, dispatched our volunteers to set up some uh, water stations, uh, emergency water stations right on the border. So in Oregon Pipe Cactus National um, National Monument. Meanwhile, CBP says in part, Border Patrol has utilized outdoor shaded areas only when necessary and for very short times while they await onward transportation to larger facilities. The Ajo Border Patrol Station is not equipped to hold large number of migrants due to historic trends in the area. Those larger facilities include a migrant shelter here in Tucson where migrants receive food and shelter before they are sent to their final destination.